It would be impossible to measure the influence that such women have, not only on families, but on the Lord's Church, as wives, mothers, and grandmothers, as sisters and aunts, as teachers and leaders, and especially as exemplars and devout defenders of the faith. Yet the women of this dispensation are distinct from the women of any other because this dispensation is distinct from any other. Thirty-six years ago, in 1979, President Spencer W. Kimball made a profound prophecy about the impact that covenant-keeping women would have on the future of the Lord's Church. My dear sisters, you who are our vital associates during this winding-up scene, the day that President Kimball foresaw is today. We, your brethren, need your strength, your conversion, your conviction, your ability to lead, your wisdom, and your voices. The kingdom of God is not and cannot be complete without women who make sacred covenants and then keep them, women who can speak with the power and authority of God. Throughout my life, I've been blessed by such women. My departed wife, Dancil, was such a woman. I will always be grateful for the life-changing influence she had on me in all aspects of my life, including my pioneering efforts in open-heart surgery. My dear sisters, whatever your calling, whatever your circumstances, we need your impressions, your insights, and your inspiration. We need you to speak up and speak out in ward and state councils. We need each married sister to speak as a contributing and full partner as you unite with your husband in governing your family. Married or single, you sisters possess distinctive capabilities and special intuition you have received as gifts from God. We, brethren, cannot duplicate your unique influence. So today, I plead with my sisters of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints to step forward, take your rightful and needful place in your home, in your community, and in the kingdom of God, and as one of his apostles, I thank you, my dear sisters, and bless you to rise to your full stature, to fulfill the measure of your creation as we walk arm in arm in this sacred work. Together, we will help prepare the world for the second coming of the Lord. Of this I testify as your brother. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.